Hello, my name is Mateen. Welcome to the Clearly Illiterate Bookshop's unboxing of the Council of Verona, a little mini game that takes place in the atmosphere, atmosphere? Atmosphere of Romeo and Juliet. And it's a game by Crash Games. Um, and it's a game by Michael Eskew. And it plays to up to two to five people and is for 13 plus. It's a great mini game. And, uh, well, you'll get to see what's inside. And this is the second edition, by the way. And also, magnetic box. How cool is that? Check it out. All right, so this is the Council of Verona. And uh, as you can see, it's in cellophane. Uh, the box is, honestly, it's, it's really nice. Let me get that into focus. If you're wondering, this right here is a guitar case. And it's because the lighting here is so bad that I can't use the carpet because it's so uh, it's so light. So I guess you're gonna have to stick with a guitar case. Anyways, this is the back. Over here, this is actually quite important. It indicates second edition. So if you are buying it from somebody, it's just good to know that. And it says that it includes the Poison expansion. So, uh, well, let's open this up. And there we go. So, First thing right off the bat, and this is this is going to say a lot about the game, is that it has a magnetic clip. So this here is a magnet, so there you go. It's not like a, that's, I mean, for a small box and for how um, inexpensive this game is, that says a lot already. So already right here, um, it says the components that are going to be in the game. Uh, it comes with uh, 17 character cards, uh, 20 influence tokens, uh, 10 poison tokens, and 5 player aids, which are double-sided. So here is the manual and it just has all your instructions in there. And the artwork of this game just really suits uh, this game itself because it, it takes place in, in uh, Romeo and Juliet's time. And so, and this also explains the poison expansion. And there you go. I mean, yeah, the artwork is absolutely amazing. And the tokens here, let's, I'll take a token out. I haven't done this in a single unboxing. I haven't taken a single thing out of its tokens, but let's take the black tokens out just so we can kind of see. But as you can see, let me get this into focus. So that's a three. And on the other side, wow, this is very unclear. Oh, there's nothing on the back. That is strange. Well, there's a three. And the greens don't actually have anything on the back because they're all here, which I think those are tokens for something else. My bad. Um, so let's take out the other greens. As you can see, there you go. So this says P and this is a five. So this is one of the usable ones and it doesn't say anything on the back. Wow really learn more about these. Anyways, let's put that aside. These are the bags. I love it when ba uh, when games come with bags, just because it's, it's so useful to put everything in. I I've run out of bags so often that I have to like double up on certain things. So here are the player cards. It's a really small pack. It says Exile on the back. I don't think that's on all the cards. It's just a card that says Exile uh, just for the suiting and you have your agenda written down here and your character this is mercutio one of my favorites in the romeo and juliet universe here are your player aids so they are double-sided they have all the characters on them which is amazing because i don't like to go through the manual so many times on like certain board games that don't give you player aids so it's awesome always to get player aids. I always like that. And I mean, just look at the artwork of the box. I mean, look, look at that. Sorry. It's, it's just, it's so beautiful. And for such a small game, it's such a quite low price. I understand that it's a micro game, but like the design in this game so far is incredibly impressive. And I've just opened the box too. So uh, yeah, no, this is amazing. I'm actually, I'm really excited to play this. Let me show you the back one more time. And, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the Clearly Literate Bookshop's unboxing of the Council of Verona. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And also, just before you go,
Crash Games is actually ha hosting a Kickstarter right now to um, help fund their board game company. So definitely go there and help them out. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And it's definitely a worthy cause. And honestly, I've played this game twice. And I'm thinking of doing a review of it because it's honestly, it's an amazing game. So if you're interested in their stuff, go check out their Kickstarter. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. I can't think of a pun. That's okay. Goodbye.